I'd like to take this moment. My name is Jim Daniels, and I'm the Dean of the New Bedford campus here. I'd like to take this opportunity just to welcome everybody. Who, the, just all, all my friends are here, all you people, I, I can't name all of you, but you're all here, and I'm so glad to have you all here. You know, especially those from the other campuses, and from Fall River, and from Attleboro, and from Taunton. It's so nice to have all, all of us all together here today. Today we're celebrating the Charter Day and the 50 years that Bristol Community College has been here. This is very exciting uh, for, for me as being a new person. And all the different people I've met since I've been here, which has been only about four months as compared to 50 years, but I've met so many wonderful people and just so many just hardworking, committed folks that makes this campus what it is. And as I look back over the 50 years, it just impresses me. And because of these people, I know that's how we got here and where we are today. It is with great pleasure uh, for me to take a moment here and to introduce our president, President Sprague, uh, to come up and welcome all of you and say a few words. Again, thank you all of you for coming and welcome to New Bedford Campus. <laughs> president Sprague. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to this great event. Uh, we're so excited. Uh, we're having something at each of our locations around Bristol County. And uh, this is wonderful to see this turnout to help, help us celebrate our 50th anniversary. Can't believe it. Uh, this is my, uh, I'm in the middle of my 16th year now. Uh, but you know, in the 50 years, there's only I'm only the third president. Uh, we started out with uh, President Jack Hudnell uh, at the founding. The, uh, in fact, uh, on 9 December 1965, that is the date that the charter was signed and went into operation in 66, and Jack Hudnell was uh, selected as the first president, and he stayed until 1978. And uh, at that time, uh, uh, the next president was Eileen Farley, and Eileen Farley stayed from 1978 to, 19, to 2000 when I arrived. And I've been here since 2000. Okay, I came Y2K ready. Remember those days? <laughs> so three presidents in 50 years. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderfully stable institution, uh, a jewel of the community. It's grown by leaps and bounds. Uh, we're now uh, uh, <clears throat> represented, as I mentioned, in, throughout Bristol County. We have a, a center in Taunton, a campus in Attleboro, uh, campus in Fall River and of course campus here in New Bedford and everything is going uh, very well We could always use a larger budget, but uh, things are going very well here It's been a wonderful 50 years when you look back at the difference that Bristol has made in the lives of uh, the members of this uh, whole region southeastern Massachusetts and it's absolutely true. We're so proud of our uh, of our vision statement that we change the world learner by learner uh, and uh, that continues. There's never a day, frankly, in these 16 years, there's hardly a day that goes by that someone doesn't come up to me and say, oh, your school changed uh, my, uh, my life or my spouse's life or my daughter or son's life, or even my parents' life for that matter. So uh, there's always somebody, it touches everyone, uh, and we're so proud of BCC. I did uh, want to quickly recognize uh, Cynthia Rose is here in the, uh, there's Cynthia. Cynthia is a trustee at the college. <laughs> and uh, Miriam London is here from our foundation board. Miriam, wave to everybody. Yeah, there's you. Great supporter. And we have such wonderful people. We have people from the chamber, from the uh, Workforce Investment Board. Uh, Diane is here from, uh, work, uh, from uh, downtown uh, Inc. Right there she is, Diane Arsenal. So uh, I'm so glad that you all could come. Uh, we want to move on and less speech speechifying and and get into the celebration. But uh, uh, I did want to recognize Dean Daniels and Vice President Sally Cameron. Uh, we have uh, Karen Varier and just a number of people. I start naming names are going to uh, get into trouble. But who put this together? Not only the campus, but uh, this particular event this morning, and uh, I'm very grateful to them. 
So I thank you very much. Uh, enjoy. I hope uh, the, these have been a fabulous 50, 50 years, and I'm very confident that the next 50 will be even greater for Bristol Community College, thanks to your help. Thank you very much. Next, it's my honor to introduce Vice President, excuse me, Vice President Sally Cameron. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's such a thrill for me to be able to celebrate this anniversary uh, because I've been here 30 years, so I have a fair amount of, of uh, history at, of my own, but uh, I have stayed here at Bristol Community College because it does change the world, learner by learner. It's been such a wonderful thing to, to be working for this institution and watch it grow. Uh, President Sprague alluded to this, but I uh, just want to make sure you know why we are celebrating in December, why this time, or at, during finals, during all these crazy things we're doing right now, why are we celebrating our, our birthday this month and that's because on December 9th 1965 the legislature made a radical effort to make higher education available to the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and particularly southeastern Massachusetts. Community colleges were new and it was a radical idea that uh, everybody should have access to community college or to college at all. Uh, and so because of that, we're here and we have just done amazing things in this region and I take no credit for it, I just get to watch. So uh, I want to acknowledge the people who did their event here. Uh, I am the co-chair of the 50th anniversary celebration and I called all the campuses and said that you can plan your birthday party to be whatever you want it to be. And this is our third, and each one has been different. And I just want to give a hand for the people who did this one. Again, this is Very New Bedford. Congratulations to Nathan and Karen. Thank you for doing this. So the last thing that I want to talk about is that I have this little friend here. This is TCS50 which stands for Time Capsule Suggestions. And we are working on developing a, uh, curating a collection of things to go into the Time Capsule, which will be opened at the 100th anniversary. And I will tell you, likely I will not be there. <laughs> but perhaps some of you will. So what important things need to be here so that our colleagues 50 years from now will know what we thought important? We've gotten a number of things already. Yesterday in Taunton, the uh, men network, the male empowerment network, uh, which is a group that is working together to encourage uh, students to stay the course, to achieve their goals, to stay on course, put their photo in here. Uh, and so that's terrific. I've gotten um, a sun catcher from civic engagement. So those are the th sort of things to be putting in. So I hope you'll do that. Uh, I have forms here if you want to make suggestions. And we look forward to the rest of the year as we celebrate a number of different events. So keep an eye on those. But again, thank you to the New Bedford campus for their wonderful celebration. In closing, I've only been here four months, but during that time I've met some of the most wonderful people. The faculty here at New Bedford, the students here at New Bedford, thank you for coming. The faculty who came, I appreciate so much you coming down to celebrate with us. Um, this is a wonderful time. We have some wonderful food here. And I'd just like to thank everyone, all my friends, <clears throat> all my friends and folks who came from the community. Again, thank you for coming out. Next year will be our 15th anniversary, and I hope you all come back for that. Thank you very much and have a great time.